Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. We are deeply grateful and we're humbled by your support. Please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just drop the name or the link down below and I'll do it. Check out our social media. Uh, Facebook and Instagram we go by Fanny and Jesse. Go there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Hit the subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Ami did that embarrassed priest who wanted to challenge him a rare video. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Begotten means exactly and precisely what it says. Begotten, fathered, conceived of the Holy Spirit. Jesus was indeed, as man, born of the Spirit, born of the Father. Begotten, not made. And I'm so glad you made that distinction, because it is central to the Christian faith, and it actually establishes his deity, that what is begotten of God is God, and what is created of God is not God. And that is why the deity of Jesus Christ is revealed in his birth. Uh, that just as you so eloquently quoted Billy Graham saying that the Holy Spirit overshadowed the Virgin Mary. And, 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 and uh, you seem to think that someone was upset by the idea that that the Father sired Jesus. Well, I am not upset by that at all. It's absolutely scriptural. And therefore, uh, I want to ask you to confirm, as I think you have so eloquently said on, on, the, uh, on the videotape, uh, that the distinction between the Islamic religion and the Christian faith, the Christian revelation, is that the Jesus of the Quran is a creature created by Almighty God, whereas the Jesus of the Christian revelation is begotten of God, is an, a manifestation of God in the flesh. And we say, therefore, that Jesus, just as Billy Graham uh, pointed out, uh, it was born as a result of the impregnation by the Spirit of the Virgin Mary. And as Irene Mylon pointed out in our earlier on, we have therefore Jesus fully man and fully God. Now to an unbeliever like yourself, we do not expect that to make sense unless the Holy Spirit gives the revelation, because no one will say Jesus is Lord but by the Spirit. You see this expression we got John 3.16 I take it you have it in your American standard That's version. right. But the RSV, you said you don't use it. It isn't best known to yourself. But Christian scholars, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, I don't know whether you, since you do not claim to belong to any denomination, they went and produced this book. And the, the testimonies, the praises, that which are being heaped upon this translation by Anglican Church newspaper. The Church of England newspaper says that this is the finest version which has been produced in the present century. Times Literary Supplement says a completely fresh translation by scholars of the highest eminence. Life and Work says the well-loved characteristics of the authorized version combined with a new accuracy of translation. And the Times says the most accurate and close rendering of the original. They are claiming that this translation goes to the most ancient manuscripts. And in John 3.16, they have eliminated the word begotten. Because they say these are defects in your present scriptures, most especially based on Jerome's Latin Vulgate, the King James Version. The authors here, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, they say that the King James Version, used by a billion Christians today in different, different languages, King James Version, says yet the King James Version has grave defects. By the middle of the 19th century, the development of biblical studies and the discovery of many manuscripts more ancient than those upon which the King James Version was based, made it manifest that these defects are so many and so serious as to call for revision. So they revised it, that is what the RSV is, 1952, and the word begotten they threw out as a fabrication, interpolation, 
it was a fabrication so if this was inspired by God if God said I have begotten a son it would be something but since it was an interpolation it's work of people you know with vested interest like you would you wouldn't use this Bible at all because it, that it won't suit you whatever you are out to preach it hasn't got it the ascension is taken out the verse on the Trinity is taken out and they still remain those many defects serious grave defects you see which needs certification so this word begotten is a defect and they took it out but Mr. Okay. Mr. Dida, yes, if we were going to base our belief on one word we would be a lost people there are many other scriptures which I can quote and which I've quoted. No, no, you quote one at a time. It. If you quote one at a time, like this now. That's right. The word begotten we are discussing, I said, look, this word begotten, you have to tell me now that these 32 scholars of the Christian Bible were not scholars. That they were lay people or barbers, shoemakers, that they went and produced this book. These 50 denominations that you don't belong to that, but those 50 denominations are all heathen or they are unbelievers. They went and produced this book and they made, they sold millions of this and they made a net profit of 11 to 15 million on this book alone. May I quote yes. from this book, yes. the doctrine of the begotten Son of God from the scriptures, all right? The now, word begotten. The word begotten. Yes. Mm -hmm. The RSV, I do think it's an inferior translation, but it's one you put your faith in. I quote. I didn't. This is your church that have produced it. <laughs> <laughs> your point. Yes. All right. For to what angel did God ever say, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. Or again, I will be to him a father, he shall be to me a son. And in verse 7, of the angels he says, who makes his angels winds and his servants flames of fire but of the sun he says thy throne O God is forever and ever now you think where was this quotation taken from Hebrews chapter 1 right quoting the Psalms right so we go to the book of Psalms and we find that this was attributed to David God Almighty is speaking to David he said I will declare a decree unto thee that thou art my son this day have I begotten thee God is speaking to David this day means today I have brought you into being begotten when did God Almighty tell Jesus that I have begotten you today in the canonical gospels Matthew Mark Luke and John is there a single statement voice heard from heaven God saying that I have begotten you today no but this is what we read in the book of Psalms and God had spoken those words to David. Now if you take them out from there and you apply them as Paul has done to make God out of Jesus, well that is his business. But what I am saying is this, that Jesus Christ, that is not, it's an amazing thing, that you are not quoting me a single word of Jesus. Whatever you are out to prove, there is not one word I am hearing that Jesus said this or Jesus said that. You're quoting me Paul again and again. You quote, he's quoting scripture from the Old Testament. And I said, when you look at it on the very face of it, he's not talking about Jesus, he's talking about David. Actually, at that point, perhaps we can move on to the next topic and see if we can progress from there. All right. The next one, please, Jonathan. I love how Ahmed Dad's act is always put together because he knows his stuff and he's kind of quick to answer um what i thought on the stand today especially in the world that we live in come on guys what i thought to understand is if someone corrects you no matter their religious background say begotten here was too much and shows you that this bible is straining out you don't think you should take that into consideration or think about why other Christians came together and took out that begotten. First of all, I think it's good so that people stop picking on you because there is that begotten and you believe in what wasn't, you know. 
it's already one mistake out from there if you want to refer it as to as a mistake or one error out from the bible and you really have to be open and ask yourself uh so if it's been removed what has it been replaced by or what does it mean because now they've used it here towards david so what does it mean to christians you know does it mean god is the biological father of david god was a father of many and still is a father of many people but I, I just don't understand why should someone be extremely special that he was the only person fathered by God. Yes, it's it's like today's world, you pick leaders, they, they're leader, you're not. Yes, they, had, they hold that um, title. But still, that doesn't mean they're more than you. That doesn't make them... I, I don't even know special because we're all human beings just because someone is a messenger or a prophet follow what they're saying listen to their teachings but then to constantly want to argue as to um, if because he was the son that means he's God that means this that means that then I don't know I think it's okay if someone corrects you remove that error and move on gracefully you know so that no one else has to tell you that this, this, this. You can simply say, no, it's no longer in the book. Yes, that was an error, but it's no longer there. Also, Jesus doesn't say a lot of things that people do. Like, Jesus doesn't say, I am God, you know. And, and this is just a contribution to his last point. I don't know what you guys actually think. It's always interesting to listen to Annie do that. Um, your thoughts are always welcome. Just feel free to comment down below. I don't know why for some videos my comments are off. I don't get it. But if they're closed, just comment on another video. We'll see your comments. Might respond. But otherwise, we're constantly busy. We try our best. If we don't comment, at least we like to show you guys that we've seen your comments. And let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to, to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video